Hey, hey, everybody, it's Andrew, and welcome to episode 125 of the Jaguar podcast. In this episode, I'm going to be doing a game recap of the matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Indianapolis Colts. And let's jump into it. To start off with, I'm going to do a big Duval, Duval, excellent win by the Jacksonville Jaguars over the Indianapolis Colts, 27 to 20 at home. Man, what a great way to start off the season, especially since this kind of crazy and uh, tumultuous offseason. So much drama going on, and we come out. We're the dogs in this game, and we come out and we beat the Colts. Uh, just an excellent performance by uh, Gardner Minshew. Um, you know, he was just near perfect in this game, 19 for 20. Uh, 173 yards and three touchdowns, and uh, he just played uh, really, really well. And And, uh, kudos to him. I'm really excited to see what he can bring to the table this season. And um, just a great game. You know, there were some some ups and downs in this game in terms of the offense and defense. Um, Some shining stars on the offensive side, obviously Gardner Minshew, um, you know, LaVisca Chenault, he had a great game. Um, James Robinson, you know, an undrafted free agent, uh, played amazingly. And I mean, I think I was listening to Zach Schaumler's, um, podcast, strong opinion sports. If you, you get a chance, check it out. He's amazing. But, um, he had, I think he had said that this was the first time in 30 years that an undrafted free agent running back had gotten the start in the NFL. So, um, that's just amazing. You know, kudos to James Robinson again, because, um, I can imagine that's a lot of pressure and especially with Leonard Fournette, you know, departing the team and going to Tampa Bay. And it's pretty crazy because, um, Leonard Fournette's getting a lot of hate, especially after the, the great game that James Robinson had. Um, you know, he went to, um, Tampa Bay, I think he only had like five carries for like 19 yards and uh everyone's just really uh hating on him now You're not good enough. Piss off. and um i mean i like leonard he's one of my favorite players so i can't you know can't dog him too much but excellent performance by james Ro- uh, robinson in this game uh, had an amazing play where he like jumped over a defender um and uh had some great catches in the flats and uh, just a, a really, really great performance by him. So kudos to him again. Um, you know, there were some other uh, great defensive plays as well. C.J. Henderson, uh, he had a great game. He had an interception. Um, one really big pass deflection at the end of the game to essentially seal the deal for the Jaguars. And then uh, one real crucial uh, tackle that uh, prevented a first down. So, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better game uh, from C.J. Henderson, you know, especially being a rookie. So, uh, you know, I got to tip my hat off to to C.J. Henderson. Um, But, you know, when I look back at the game, kind of giving you a high-level perspective, uh, I watched the first series where Indianapolis had the ball. Uh, They drove down the field pretty fast, and it was a little disheartening. They scored very quickly. Um, You know, I think the defense was kind of a little shoddy, kind of getting their feet. Um, trying to get used to to the system probably, and you know not having a preseason, so uh, it was a little difficult for them. I think that first series, but um, you know they kind of reset and and played much better. Um, you know the offense again played uh, very well in this game. Gardner Minshew just you know hitting his marks, uh, just really accurate in this game. Um. I really liked uh, how well um, he delivered the ball to his wide receivers. I mean, he was just, um, I mean, he was just awesome. I mean, it was just, he was on the money. And, um, you know, LaVisca Chenault, again, um, what a player, man. And he's he's super strong. Uh, I, he caught a pass out, you know, uh, in the flats. And it looked like he was going to get creamed by uh by this defensive back and uh he just knocked him over so um you know it was pretty awesome to see uh lavisca showing a lot of uh, strength 
What I really liked about this game too was the play calling by Jay Gruden. Um, you know, I really liked it. It was it was switching it up a little bit. You saw Jay line up Lavisca Chenault and the Wildcat uh, gave the ball to Lavisca, let him run it for a couple of plays, and um, really mixed it up. So uh, you know, have to to um, give kudos to Jay Gruden. I think he did a really good job. And, um, you know, I, I would say the, there, there were some, some ups and downs, like I said, and we'll, we'll get in that to a, a second. Um, you know, uh, if I, you know, want to be critical in this game, uh, of some of the, 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 the plays, I would say, you know, getting into, um, the offensive side of the ball would have to be the pass protection. Um, I didn't think it was very good. I think uh, Minshew got sacked three times in this game. AJ Can gave up, you know, one sack, and then uh, Cam Robinson gave up, you know, two sacks. Um, that's concerning. You know, I have to say, you know, to give them kind of a little bit of the the benefit of the doubt here, I, I think Gardner did hold on to the ball a little too long, um, especially with the two sacks that came from Cam Robinson. Um, and that's something that Gardner Minshew to, to critique him at all in this game would be that he holds onto the ball a little bit too long, tries to force a play. Um, but Cam's got to do a better job of, of pass protecting, um, AJ can too. I mean, you know, getting blown off the ball and letting that guy through and sack Gardner Minshew, that's not good. So, um, really the offensive line, I think will be potentially the weakest link uh, for this team. I said that going into this season though. I mean, I ranked the offensive line as like a C plus. Um, so we really need to think about that in our draft. Maybe we think about that in free agency. Maybe we go into, maybe we try to get a left tackle, um, you know, in free agency. I don't know. Um, but Cam Robinson definitely needs to improve. Um, there were, some penalties on the offensive line as well. You know, Brandon Lindner got called uh, for a face mask. Um, so that's not good. Um, but, you know, the offensive line definitely can play better. And that was uh, definitely a weak point on the offensive side. Um, from the defensive side, again, I just mentioned this penalties. You know, Miles Jack had a pass interference call. Uh, Trey Herndon had a pass interference call. Uh, Dewan Smoot had a, a offsides penalty and then uh, a roughing the passer penalty as well. So, you know, that kills drives and that's just needless stuff. I mean, if you're getting called for offsides, I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's just a stupid penalty. Right? Idiot. So definitely need to be a little bit more disciplined on the defensive side of the ball. Um, I think the secondary probably could have played a little bit better. Like, um, you know, CJ did give up some plays. Uh, Trey Herndon did give up some plays as well, some passes, um, some crossing routes that kind of, um, you know, Indy, Indianapolis tore us up on. So uh, definitely need some improvements there with, you know, tightening up that coverage. Um, but let's go into some of the good stuff. Um, you know, there were a lot of really, really um, – great offensive players in this game and standouts. I mean, like I said, Gardner Minshew was uh, amazing in this game. Um, Just hard and balls. And, um, you know, uh, LaVisca Chenault, uh, he was great. He scored a touchdown in this game, um, ran the ball as well. Uh, you know, DJ Chark with the shark attack. Um, he was awesome. He caught a touchdown pass. You know, Colin Johnson, one of our rookies, he had a, a nice 14-yard uh, reception. You know, Bruce Miller even made a, a, an appearance in this game and caught a pass for a first down. That was crucial. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that was great. And then uh, I believe Keelan Cole definitely uh, was a shining star in this game, had uh, one touchdown pass, but, you know, definitely – was was a target in this game as well. I think he had three receptions in this game. We'll go into the box score uh, in, in just a second, but I was very, very impressed 
with uh, the offensive side of the ball for Jacksonville in this game. Chris Thompson also make, made an appearance. I think he caught two receptions uh, in this game. So um, I think the off- offense looks promising, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of season left. Uh, so, you know, I'm not going to get too optimistic, but I was definitely very impressed by the, uh, the offense. Uh, so let's jump into the box score here um, on the offensive side of the ball. Quarterback Gardner Minshew had, uh, you know, he was 19 for 20, uh, 173 yards passing, three touchdowns. So he was amazing. Uh, rushing, we had uh, running back James Robinson, the undrafted free agent, a rookie from Illinois State, 16 rushes, 62 yards, uh, 3.9 yards, a carry. Um was just magnificent and he had like i said that play where he jumped over the defender um just really showing a lot of athleticism in this game so he was uh just amazing gardner Minshew did uh scramble a bit he had five rushes for 19 yards and then we have lavisca chanel our rookie wide receiver out of colorado two rushes for 10 yards then we go to the receiving front with uh keelan cole he had five receptions for 47 yards uh one touchdown um LaVisca Chennault, three receptions, 37 yards, one touchdown. And then, uh, why, um, excuse me, running back, James Robinson had one reception for 28 yards. Um, DJ Chark, three receptions, 25 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Colin Johnson, like I said, made an appearance in this game, one reception for 14 yards. And then Chris Thompson, our, um, really our third down back, two receptions for six yards. On the defensive side of the ball, Miles Jack, you know, despite the penalties, did have one sack. Uh, CJ CJ Henderson had one interception. Uh, then we go to the special team side. Josh Lambeau, just incredible in this game. Two for two. He hit a field goal from 50 yards, which was just amazing. Um, just a great asset on special teams. So uh, kudos to Josh. And then we have uh, Logan Cook, our punter, three punts, 45-yard uh, average for each punt, and then one inside the 20. So... Yeah, a lot of a um, lot of accolades in this game, and uh, I would I'm just super happy about it. It's nice to see the Jaguars start off the season uh, with a win. So um, really excited to see what happens. You know, everybody has been saying that the Jaguars are going to tank. So this game was definitely a surprise to me. I didn't think Jacksonville was going to uh, win the game, and you know that from my last episode where I did. Uh, a pregame analysis of this matchup. I had the Jaguars losing by two touchdowns. I am wrong. And I will admit when I am wrong. So, uh, you know, I, I, I know I was wrong. Idiot! But, hey, man, I can't get them all right. So, but super excited about the upcoming game against Tennessee. I think it's going to be, could be a potential close one. It's uh, playing in, you know, we're playing in Tennessee. Um, so, you know, we haven't played historically well against Tennessee. Um, Gardner Minshew did beat them at home last season, but you know we, we don't play very well in Tennessee, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. I hope we win, um, but you know, uh, Tennessee I had a pretty close game with the Broncos last week, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. There'll be a lot of good matchups. We'll have to stop Derrick Henry. Um, we'll have to tackle better. We'll have to cover better on defense, but the offense looked great. And I think if we played like we played last week against Indianapolis, it could be a pretty close game. So let me know how you feel uh, about this game. Uh, Leave me a comment on the YouTube video or podcast episode. Uh, Give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, Subscribe to the channel. Show your boy some love. Uh, You know, come by Twitter. My Twitter feed is at Jaguar Podcast. And I pinned a tweet up there. If you leave a review on my Apple podcast, Uh, detailed kind of text review, Uh, direct message me. I will send you a uh, free Jaguar podcast official t-shirt to you if you leave a review. And uh, I appreciate it as always. Stay safe, stay sane, go Jags, and I'll see you next time.